Yo, what's good with y'all today, man? Turn me up. Don't turn me down. We back at it with another video. Today we got the team who got humble last year in the NBA Finals, the Boston Celtics. First of the Miami Heat, man. Let's get it. Game one. In the best of of the Eastern Conference Finals, man. Let's get it. We in TD Garden with it. The worst fan base in the league. Arena TD Garden, man. Let's get it. Now, y'all already know who I'm cheering for in this series right here, man. Self-explanatory, man. Y'all already know I'm cheering for the Boston Miami Heat. Definitely going to need the Miami Heat to win this series right here, man. Don't want to see the Fod Celtics back in the finals. Especially playing against the Lakers. Like, if I... I'm telling y'all right now, bro. I might not even do reactions to the finals if it's Boston and Lakers in the finals, bro. Like, that's literally probably going to be, like, the worst ratings in finals history. The Celtics and the Lakers. Nobody is trying to see that, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'd rather see the Nuggets and the Heat in the finals. It's going to bring more ratings than the Celtics and, and the Lakers. Trust me. Velten for uh, three. Nice. Love to see it. Alright. Tatum to Malcolm Brogdon. Alright. Now Tatum is definitely going to have to step on this series if the Celtics want to win this series against the Heat. Because the last series, when the Celtics was playing against the 76ers, he really wasn't playing that good, in my personal opinion. Jalen Brown, as usual, literally carried Jason Tatum that whole series against the 76ers. Now, the Miami Heat are not the 76ers. Way better than the 76ers, in my personal opinion. So, I feel like if the Celtics is going to want to go to the finals, back to back, and obviously probably lose again to, like, the Nuggets, because Nuggets going to beat the Lakers. Lakers not going to beat the Nuggets. But, Jason Tatum going to have to play good. J Jalen Brown is not going to be able to carry the Celtics by himself. He needs Jason Tatum to be a little bit decent. Like, don't be trash. Be a little bit decent. Jimmy Butler. Nice little mid-range by Jimmy Butler. I already know Jimmy Butler going to show up. I'm not going to lie. I think I was a little too harsh on Jimmy Butler, especially, like, in the first series of the playoffs when they played against the Bucks. I was really calling him overrated, and I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, he really made me be quiet these past couple of games, man. I ain't going to lie. Jimmy Butler, he been staying consistent. I haven't really been seeing this type of Jimmy Butler ever in his career, man. I don't know what he been drinking, what type of Gatorade goose he been using. But Jimmy Butler been going crazy, man. I can't even count to y'all, man. Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry been going crazy, too, surprisingly. I don't know where Kyle Lowry getting these attribute upgrades from, but Kyle Lowry been playing good, too. Then he made another three, bro. What in the world? That's like bad to bad threes by Kyle Lowry right there. Surprisingly. Robert Williams, okay. He ain't making a free throw. Okay, he made a free throw. For not mistaken, he's shooting like 48% from the free throw line, so I'm surprised he made that. Tatum. There you go, Tatum. You got to be aggressive like that if y'all want to win this series. I'm telling you, Kevin Love for three? What? Did Kevin Love just do a dribble pull up three in 2023? I don't know what to say about that. Uh, Hofer still got the dribbling uh, moves, I see, at his age. Pretty good. Jalen Brown with the M1. Stop flexing, bro. Stop flexing, bro. Okay. Uh, uh, you're the best player in the Celtics, but you don't need to be flexing like that at all. No need for you to be flexing like that at all, buddy. Malcolm Brogdon, okay. Nice little cut by Malcolm Brogdon right there. Strews, nice. Celtics up right now. I mean, they should win this game. Game one in TD Garden. TD Garden is supposed to be like the toughest place to play, which is absolutely capped. I don't know why people be saying TD Garden is the toughest place to play because it's not. Most definitely Chase Center is the toughest place to play. All right. But Celtics should win this game right here. I'm not going to lie. Nice say by Jason Tatum. Celtics should and win this game. They should win this game right here. Game one. Come on, bro. Lily at home and everything. All right. They just say pretty play. <laughs> that was a common reverse layup. I could do that. I could do that in my sleep. 
That was not a pretty play. That was the most simplest basketball play I've ever seen somebody do in my life. Commentator the same prettiest play. Mark is smart for three. Got to be consistent with the three. Mark smart. Can't be hitting these lucky threes. You be hitting like occasionally. Got to hit it consistently. Shoes for three. See, somebody like Shoes. You got to take notes from uh, Shoes, Mark smart. He, was, he be hitting consistently threes. Consistent threes. Vincent. Nice shot by Vincent. Yo, how is the game tied? Well, the game was tied. Did he literally caught back up, bro? What in the world? Out of bow and one. Okay. What a game. Bam out of bow. Bam out of bow again with another rebound. Passing it to Shrews. That was a goal 10. Most definitely a goal 10. Jalen Brown passing it to Smart in the corner like a prostitute. Okay. Nice three by Marcus Smart right there. If Marcus Smart going to be consistent from the three, Shelter's got a good chance of winning this series. And then, obviously, if Jason Tatum actually plays like a good player for once in his career. But if all that happens, then Soldier the should win the series. But if it don't happen, then he going to win in like five games. I ain't going to lie. I'll probably say the only game that Soldier's going to win is probably like this this game right here. And then the next like three or four that Soldier's going to uh, I mean, that he going to win. Jimmy. Okay. I wonder how much point Jimmy Butler scored this game. It's like Jimmy Butler scoring like at least like 20 to 30 points every game. Brogdon. All right, and one. Really wasn't a foul, but okay. Got bailed out by the referees right there. Derek White over here flopping like Dennis. Fumble the bag shooter. This offense is all generated through Jimmy Butler. Ted him with a lucky layup. Lowry, you gotta take that. There you go. Too easy. Wow, the Heat is up by nine points right now. Twelve points right now. Well, I don't think my mathematics is correct. Wait, two, three, yeah, twelve. Okay. Derek White with a three. Cody Zeller. Why does Cody Zeller got that mask on? Cody Zeller, Jalen Brown. It's like everybody wearing a mask. It's like. Feel like they accessories or something like they went to the 2k shop or something you get it all right vincent for three jalen brown it's jalen brown soon to be going to stay warrior i bet y'all didn't know jalen brown about to request a trade to the warriors after this season huh i called it it's May 18th, and I called it. Jalen Brown going to the Warriors. Give it until, like, the end of, like, August. Jalen Brown going to be a Warrior. Butler. Fade away midi. All right. Miami up right now. Whoa, that was going to be a foul. I ain't going to lie. Miami up by nine points, five more minutes left. Celtics, y'all better not lose this game. This is definitely a game the Celtics got to win. No way the Celtics about to lose this game. Butler spinning around, passing it to number 16 on the Heat. Ooh, Martin. Okay. Wait, there's one more minute left. What in the world? Butler for three? What? Yo! Bro, did this man train with Michael Jordan after every single game or something, bro? And then Marcus Smart getting that, that flopping layup. Marcus Smart got to be the first person to do a flop, flop layup. Bro, it's like this man Jimmy Butler be working out with Michael Jordan or something, bro. Since when did Michael, I mean, since when did Jimmy Butler ever play like this, bro? 123 to 116 and he literally just won, bro? What in the world? That is, I'm not going to lie. That was the most surprisingest thing I have ever seen in my life. Wow. Well, not in my life. Probably like the most surprising thing I've seen today. That's crazy, bro. That he actually won. Game one in TD Garden. Like I told y'all, bro, TD Garden is literally, like, the most overrated place in the world. Like I said, Jimmy Butler, 35 points. I'm already known he scored around, like, 30, 40. Bam out of bow with 20 and 8 rebounds. And then they had a good bench unit. 15, 15, 15, 15. Let's see how Jason overrated Tatum did. 30 points, okay. I mean, he played 41 minutes, so I hope you would have 30 points. Jalen Brown, 22. If he played an extra two minutes, he would have had 30. 
Samar with 13, 11 assists. Malcolm Baldwin with 19 points. Hey, man, y'all comment down below how y'all feel about this game right here, man.